rocking and rolling. Jeez, it's really hard to capture how much it's moving, huh? You're going to continue going. I have to think about dinner and stuff as well. I can have noodles, you know? As a Toronto, we've sailed around the world for 10 years, we've done pretty well. What are some of the challenges and differences now that we have a baby nugget and it's one of the two of us? Yeah. Where is she, by the way? Is she back there? Lurk it! Hi, baby nugs. How are you today? Bored. <laughs> Bored? Can't move around. She gets really frustrated. But all the sailing we've done, like all the really rough conditions in the Indian Ocean, like that was nothing compared to having a baby on the boat. Because when I'm not taking care of her, you know, I still have to prepare meals, we all have to be fed, and you know, yesterday when she like puked all over me, like that was all just thrown in the bathroom, and like, if I don't clean that up, I can't change her diaper, because it's just puking clothes everywhere. It's so it's a like, lot. It's definitely changed a lot on how like, I think a lot of the things that I really enjoyed with passages is no longer there, you know? Like I used to really enjoy, you know, just sitting out here and watching the waves for like eight hours and just like zoning out and getting into a routine and, you know, just being in your own space. And I feel with her, like, I don't really have that anymore. So I guess I don't like passages anymore. <laughs> I guess I'm just bluntly saying out <laughs> But I know this is a phase and she's very young still, right? And it's hard an hour and she can move around because she wants to like walk and as soon as she walks she just like falls and like hits herself and cries. And, but she's not nice. Uh, These so are I also suboptimal con conditions. Yeah, when she gets older like she will understand that, okay, now we're moving the boat, so now I need to hold on. Or at least I'm hoping that that will show what she'll do. <laughs> at some point, I hope this will happen. I think so. Now we just have to decide if we should continue or pull in. Yeah, I know. It's like, do we want to take our punishment now or later? <laughs> I know. I don't know. We'll get back to you on that. After weighing in on a few options, we decided to keep pushing forward and take advantage of the favorable winds, even though it meant testing our limits more than we had ever done since having Sierra on board. It's hard to capture in the videos because in our toughest moments, you don't always have a free hand or the energy to pick up a camera. Life on the ocean is full of challenges, both physically and emotionally, and sailing is probably one of the most romanticized lifestyles today but the reality is that sometimes it can break you a little, or a lot. It's full of unbelievable highs and lows, but the toughest parts of our life also what make it the most rewarding. Working hard, accepting the good with the bad, and rising to the challenge makes you feel alive every single day. And for every squall that comes your way, you manage to see the sunshine on the other side. I was thinking about kind of what we talked about before uh, and I felt like it could seem a little bit negative or like I don't enjoy my life or something like that, which is not true at all. I actually absolutely love this lifestyle and I love being a family on the boat. It's absolutely amazing, but I think I have days like this when I'm like, why am I living on a boat? Like, it's so hard, but then if you think about how many amazing days we have and how much I absolutely love this life, those days way overweigh these really difficult days. So <laughs> I'm really proud of uh, me and Brian for being such a good team and we do super well even though it is really hard. And I'm also really proud of Sierra because 
I mean, she's a small baby and she doesn't really understand, I think, like, why can I not walk around right now? She just gets frustrated and she's feeling a little bit sick and, you know, she notices on us that we're a little bit better. Um, so, I think she's doing really well. We're moving nicely and I'm just gonna sit out here and watch everything and try to kind of just calm my mind. And it took us about a day and a half. And as our northerly winds finally started to trickle off through the night, we were happy with our progress and decided to pull into Cape May, New Jersey for a much earned rest on anchor the next morning. Ah, we made it, Cape May. I'm looking forward to a rest and a shower. Yeah. yeah. I think we all need like a I thought you were gonna say a full body spa and massage or something. And it's like a yes. Full shower. <laughs> I'd right? settle for a hot shower. Sierra really needs a bath. Does she? So she got that baby funk. Yeah. <laughs> I got that sailor funk. Yeah. You ready? Good? Yeah. Tap the anchor. Yeah. Good to go. Well, we made it. What an achievement. <laughs> but now it feels absolutely amazing to be here and I think it's time for a rest, huh? Okay, I love you. Good job. Thank you, Harry. There's no another way. passage in the books, huh? Yay! Ahoy Delos Tribe! We just got a new batch of our solar long sleeve shirts in the shop. They're available in men's and women's sizes to fit all. So just pop on over to svdellas.com forward slash rash guards and grab one for that special person in your life. Cape May sits just outside the entrance to the Delaware Bay. We needed to make a stop in Annapolis to do some boat projects. So we chose the shorter and more protected route up the bay where we'd be able to pass through the Chesapeake and Delaware Canal and then track south towards Annapolis. After a full day and night's rest on anchor, we were recharged and ready to set off bright and early the next day. a minute ago. The problem is there's this awful shoal around Cape May and it's really sketchy because it's a bunch of moving sand and so we decided to give it a really wide berth which means we had to come all the way out here. It adds about 15 miles but it's worth it. So we're basically going right into it like as high as we can point motor sailing. Uh, but after we get to this point here, we'll be able to turn. The wind is like coming like this right now. So once we make this corner, then we should be flying up the Delaware. Ready to turn? Ready to turn. Beep, beep, beep. Now we can put out some sail. Now we're sailing. Got the wind now, baby nugs. Cruising. Well, we're doing eight knots now. 
and the boat's pretty steady and it's only hopefully gonna get better until it gets worse. Jeez. 29 knots. 30 knots. Here we go. The wind turned in our face and we had to beat our way into it for a few more hours. But as we got further into the shelter of Delaware Bay, the wind dropped off almost completely and we found ourselves motor sailing once again. Well, it's almost five. <laughs> motor in. I'm listening to Yacht Rock. Oh, Yacht Rock. That's the most exciting thing of my afternoon right now. Going crazy. <laughs> ah, we're getting so bored out here. We just spent too much time on the boat. I don't know. It's been a lot of days. Now we're upside down on the boat. <laughs> Once again, we set our plans aside and opted to continue on for a night passage through the Chesapeake and Delaware Canal, rather than anchoring and waiting to go through it in the morning. We normally try to avoid going through unfamiliar areas at night, but the canal is pretty well marked and charted, so we decided to give it a go. Well, that's what the C&D Canal looks like on radar. There we are on the chart, and here's the view at night take us about three hours to get through. We're gonna have the current against us for the first part, and then it's gonna switch about the first third. So maybe it'll take less than three hours. It normally would take us about an hour and 45 minutes. Let's check out the night camera. Well, there we go. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Look at that, huh? Wow. Okay, well this is my life for like the next 14 miles. Whoa, this looks crazy, huh? It looks so pretty at night. Because of the current against us, we're doing 4.5 knots. We'd normally be doing seven knots. So we got a knot and a half against us. It's gonna switch uh, in about an hour. And we'll, we'll go to nothing and it'll be with us. So that'll be cool. So it's pretty freaking crazy to go through here at night. It's very beautiful though. It's so calm. We've never really gone into a river or a canal at night ever. It's a lot prettier than I thought. We have the yeah. whole place for ourselves too. Yeah, it's like, no. have you met any boats? Uh, no, there's no. one tug behind us. Okay. But he's only going four knots. Have another, yeah, hour and a half of this, and then we should be out and try to find ourselves a little anchorage for the night. But yeah, it's absolutely beautiful. Whew. I was thinking like, uh, what we're doing is like, you're kind of like a single mom right now, and I'm like a single-handed sailor. Yeah. It's kind of, I was thinking about that today, I was like, it's tough. Yeah, I'm doing all the baby duty and the meals, right? So preparing all the food and everything. And, and I just sit here and, and like monitor like, stuff. And monitor the boat, do the sailing, the motoring, the navigation. It works though, we're a good team. We are. Maybe she is a good baby. She is. <sighs> that was a long day. That was a long day. Here we are somewhere. I don't know, we just picked a random bay. <laughs> it's like in the middle of nowhere. We're not even close to anything. We're just literally anchored right in the middle of it. <laughs> Whatever, who cares? We're going to bed. Yeah. I know. <laughs> Up next on Delos, we decided to fix all the stuff we broke on the sail south to Annapolis. 
feel like we're almost at our max capacity of what we could handle. And I visit the doctor for a hernia repair surgery. Yep, that's about it. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Yeah, I got it, mate. Let's go. I'll tell you all the way to Annapolis. <laughs> Probably his fucking glass thing too, like, no. Billy's <laughs> <laughs> like, oh! She's poking the eye with her bird pointing finger. What? Oh, there he is! Ah! <laughs> Come on, where are we going? Ah! Ah, baby fingers! No, baby fingers! Seek and destroy. Da 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 da. Dealing with so much lack of sleep. I'm not the drinking I'm kind to that. Oh, sorry. Wait, what was I saying? The achievement. Oh. Um. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna retake that. Um. <laughs>